Hello everyone, very good afternoon, very warm welcome to our Sing and Send session for the Shoshone Love Song. Sing and Send session for the Shoshone Love Song. Goodness me, that's a tongue twister and a half. Well, I hope you're all having a good day out there. Uh, here in the West Country, well, about five minutes ago, it was overcast, grey. I set the lighting up for an overcast grey day with the curtain open. But, you know, I, I can always I can always set the clock by the home choir effect. The sun is starting to break through already, so I'm going to have to do a drastic lighting change probably in the middle of this. So just bear with me. Today, of course, is a, a fantastic day. We, we love Sing and Send here on Home Choir. It's been a while since we've had a live session. And what I love is seeing all the supportive comments of everyone in the live chat. Because, of course, some people haven't recorded live for a while. This might even be the first time singing with us. So remember, you are amongst friends. You, The point of today is that you just press record when I ask you to. You sing through the piece a number of times. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes. It doesn't matter if there is background noise happening. It just, just sing it and send it in. And we'll leave it down to our amazing engineers who we are paying the going rate... OK, they're being paid what they're worth to do a really good job of this recording for us. And so later on in the probably late spring, early summer, we will enjoy our recording of the Shoshone Love Song. And all you've got to do is just sing along with this session, record yourself singing and send it in. There are some bits and pieces I need you to do. Make sure you're listening on headphones so that we don't get me talking in the background uh, of the backing track as well. But basically... Sing and send. It's in the name. So just let me check everything is working here. That's a good start, isn't it? No sound from the... That's because it's muted. That would be why. Let's try the piano. Fabulous. Do we also have... Patchway Cathedral Choir. Let's find out, shall we? Fabulous. Now, just for all of you watching who are familiar with the Shoshone Love Song, the version we do here on the channel, the version I've, that I've been teaching you, that I've been singing you, I've added extra instruments in. I was a little bit, a uh, little bit cheeky. Put in some extra string sounds, pizzicato, plucked strings in the bass, and lush strings at the top. But the original is written for just piano and vocals. I think just to aid the recording process, to make sure that we can hear everything nice and cleanly. I have put the piano sound. I've, I've muted the strings for now. They will be back, of course, in the final performance. And I've got rid of all the reverb, so it doesn't sound like we're recording in the cathedral. It sounds much more like we're recording in the studio. And for those of you um, who took part in our hearing project, you'll remember that the preference was to have the voice louder part in a mono setting, as in centrally mixed, rather than to one side. So that's what we'll be doing for each of the voice louders when they come, um, because obviously I want to... Uh, make sure that everyone can take part in this regardless, and uh, I hope that'll help. So that is the plan. Um, so how's everyone doing out there? Well, I hope. Fabulous turnout. Lovely to see so many of you here. Of course, some people can't make it, and they left um, some very kind messages. So hello to Jill. Hello to Marie. Hello to Carol. I do hope you enjoy this when you watch it later on. Um, hello to Dorothy, who's here. It's very early but is listening in. I also want to say a very big hello to Phil, who's a recent subscriber, um, who left me a really nice comment on one of the videos, a very, actually quite one of, uh, one of the older videos from 2020, who said he'd come along to find a rehearsal aid, um, subscribed, liked, and is totally hooked. I mean, I can't tell you, Phil, how much uh, that made my day. So I do hope you enjoy this. This is our recording session. It is completely free. I do hope everyone out there feels free and able to take part in it. Because the more recordings we have, the bigger the sound will be when it's all put together. Um, so let me welcome everyone who's watching later on. 
and do please remember a thumbs up is always appreciated it doesn't cost you anything neither does subscribing to the channel which again is free just go down there click the red button we are well over four and a half thousand now moving in inexorably towards our target of five thousand it'd be so good to hit that this year and you can help us on the way just click the red subscribe button and you can help us and if you're watching later on just as phil did you can leave us a comment underneath the video and that would again really really help us i do read them all we do try and respond to many of them so do consider if you're watching later on leaving us a typed comment under the video hello to everyone who's watching live but isn't in the live chat today in particular to helene and bill and val hello to sue and tony and sally and annie and maureen and harry and june and to anna linda and charlotte and nikki and val and huyen and katie in thornbury and then hello everyone over here fabulous how's everyone doing let's see Mention the hearing project. Absolutely. So, James, uh, thanks for doing the mono version. Absolutely, James. Well, this is the whole point of doing the research, to find out what works. We want to make sure that as many people as possible can take part in our Sing and Send. So let's see who we've got this afternoon. Hello, Alison. Hello, Colette. Hello, Dave. Hello, Jill. Hello, Dorothy. Hello, Eileen. Hello, Liz. Hello, Liz. Hello, Emma. Hello, Gaynor. Hello, Glennis. Hello, Irena. Hello, Jackie. Hello, Jane. Hello, Janet. Hello, Jill. Hello, Kim. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Linda. Hello, Michael. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. Hello, Nicola. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Patricia. Hello, Ruth. Hello, Soraya. Hello, Susanna. Hello, Virginia. Hello, Wendy. Hello to everyone. Hello, Eileen as well. It's just popped up in the chat. Oh, someone else just as I clicked off. Who's there? Hello, Alina. Lovely to have you with us. Well, everyone, welcome to our Sing and Send session. And uh, I think what we should do is to sing the word home choir and start the show. So let's sing it in the key of B flat major, which is a nice, bright key. So if we could all sing home choir, we can start the show. Here we go. And... Wonderful. And a very good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our first live Sing and Send session of 2024. I'll tell you more about how Sing and Send works in a moment, but if you're watching this, well, this is going to turn into a live recording session. Now, I say live... This doesn't have to be uh, as we are streaming it live, though you're very welcome to. Once we have recorded this, you might be watching it days or even a week or so after it was put out. You can record along with this session and send it in. The only deadline is when we're closing submissions, which I'll say to you now, and we'll say again several times during the stream, is Wednesday the 8th of May 2024. By the end of that day, we need to have had in all the submissions that we're going to have and then we will hand them over to our sound engineers who will start mixing. And it's really hard to add voices in once they've started. So 8th of May 2024 is the closing date for submissions. But you can record along with this session up until that point. More on how this works in a minute. But in short, you need headphones. You need a device to watch this on. And you need a device to record with. But before we get to any of that, let me remind you what we've got coming up. We've got, unusually, a broadcast tomorrow. And this is going to be a kind of a creative session. It's not going to be particularly planned. We are going to be looking at two, possibly even three pieces of AI music software, which is free and available to everyone, including yourselves, out there in the world. One of them is called Suno, S-U-N-O, and the other one is called Udio, U-D-I-O. We'll also be looking at a piece of software which allows you to strip the various parts out of a recording. All of these will be free, and what we're going to be doing is using AI for about an hour or so to create a new piece of choral music, which we will then, fingers crossed, be learning and singing together on Friday in our broadcast then. So 2 o'clock tomorrow, that's Thursday, and 2 o'clock Friday. We've not tried this before. It's going to be really, really interesting. And anyone out there who wants to know anything about AI, and frankly, everyone should find out about it, come along and watch it. Remember, if you can't watch live, do watch later on. And remember, Home Choir is 100% supported by your kind donations, and you help us do what we do. So if you would like to support us, if you're watching, then please do consider buying us a coffee, going to homechoir.org slash donate, and remember, every penny you give goes back into making these broadcasts for you. So if you are one of the people who supports us, whether it's a one-off or whether you're kind enough to set up a uh, monthly donation, thank you, thank you 
thank you. And we have, of course, a fantastic email newsletter, which is crafted absolutely exquisitely every week to have everything you need to be a member of the home choir community it like everything else is free all you need to do is to go into along to homechoir.org and then at the top it says sign up fill in the short form there and we will send you every week an email newsletter which has all the links to our broadcasts any scores information about sing and send and all our other projects and there's lots of exciting stuff coming up this year for home choir so do sign up if you can and remember if you tell us when your birthday is when you sign up remember we'd never presume to ask the year just the day in the month well we will sing you happy birthday when your big day comes around and you can see today we're celebrating judith and nancy's birthdays and tomorrow it's hugh ruth and denise so let's sing happy birthday for judith nancy hugh ruth and denise and then we'll get on with sing and send so here we are everyone happy birthday now i think we need to have the the long version for this one because there's five names so everyone after two ready one two happy birthday to you Many happy returns of the day to all five of you. And we'll have more birthdays, of course, on Friday. So, everyone, welcome to Sing and Send. And this is the outline of the session. I uh, I used to be a teacher, so I always like to put my aims and objectives out there for everyone to see. And what we're going to do first of all is I'm going to just go over how Sing and Send works. I know many of you are experienced Sing and Senders, and so you can just sit there and just enjoy the feeling of kind of a, a smugness that you know how it all works whilst I explain to anyone who might be new how Sing and Send works. Then we'll have a quick vocal warm-up. Uh, then we're going to sing through or listen to the whole track. This is all before we press start on this occasion. Then we're going to press record on our recording devices, and then you're just going to put them to one side. We're going to sing the Shoshone Love Song as sopranos three times. Then we're going to have the alto version three times. Then we're going to have the tenor and bass version three times. Then we're going to stop. The entire piece takes two minutes or so. So that's going to be six minutes for each part, and we'll press stop at the end. And then we'll tell you what to do with your recordings when they're all finished. So how does Sing and Send work? Well, first of all, you must please be listening to this stream, whether it's live or recorded, listening to this on headphones. It's vital because what we want to do is we want to capture just your voice, not the sound of the broadcast, not the guide tracks. Unfortunately, if you send us a recording which has uh, your voice but my voice as well, we can't use it. Okay, so make sure you're listening to this uh, broadcast, this live stream on headphones so we just get your recording. This is really important. Once we've started the recording, just put your device down and focus on the job at hand. Don't worry about messing around with it. Don't stop it. Don't start it. Don't rewind it. Don't worry about any background noise. Don't worry about, you know, if the dog barks or a car backfires outside, coughs, splutters, doesn't matter. Just sing and send it in to us. Now, uh, you'll be singing along with me. You'll be pressing stop at the very end of the session. We want you to send the entire audio file, as I say, with any background noise, any mistakes, any slips. It really doesn't matter. The engineers are the best in the world at this. They've been doing this for years and years and years. So do not worry about it. Do not do any edits or any retakes. That's all that needs to happen. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get warmed up. Then we're going to enjoy singing through the piece and then we'll press start on our recording devices. So can I invite you, those of you that are taking part in the recording, whether it's live or whether you're watching this later on, it's really important to make sure your voice is ready to sing. It's like a warm up before a physical workout. So can I ask you to stand up if that's possible and if standing's not okay today for whatever reason, it's absolutely fine, but do sit up if you can so you get a nice straight back. We're just going to roll our heads around everyone. And just stretching the neck muscles out. And then we're going to roll our shoulders around. And while you're doing this, just take some nice deep breaths in and out. Just in your own time. Roll your shoulders forwards. Continue to breathe deeply. 
lovely to see so many people watching here live as we stream. Hello to anyone who's come along since we started the broadcast. I see that Christine's here. Hi, Christine. All the very best to you. Bring your shoulders up. And as you sigh, let your shoulders fall and relax. Here we go. <sighs> Great. Well done. The nice thing about this piece, it doesn't go desperately high for any of the voice parts. Basses, we do have to go up uh, a little bit to, to a C. So we'll, we'll, we'll warm up to that to register. But we're going to start here. That's a middle C for altos and sopranos and the C below for tenors and basses. And we just want a nice, gentle hum. So let's hum together. Here we go. And... Let's drop down here and we'll just have a yo. Deep breath. Yo. Again. Yo. One more. Yo. And a yo. Yo. One more. Yo. And a yo to finish. Yo. One more. Fantastic. Well done, everyone. Now, as promised, what we're going to do before we press start on our recording devices is we are going to have, let me bring the words back on screen, we're going to just play the whole thing all the way through um, as, as a way of kind of getting our head into the zone ready to record. And uh, you might want to use this as an opportunity to just make sure you've got your devices ready because after we've enjoyed listening slash singing along with this, we will be getting ready to press record. And I'm just going to have this as a straightforward mix with all three voice parts, that's soprano, alto, and tenor slash bass. Um, we're going to just have that in a straightforward mix so you can hear everything. I've taken all the reverb off so that everything, I think, will sound as if we're recording in a studio, which I think will be uh, much, much easier to sing along with. And to say again, I've taken out the strings for now. They will make a triumphant return when everything has been recorded in a mix. But for now, it is just voices and piano in a very dry studio setting. So here it is, the Shoshone Love Song, our recording for today. You can listen, you can sing, whatever you want to do, but this is our full sing-through. Here we go. are different in the moon. Here we go. Fair, two, three. Fair is the white star of twilight and the moon rolling to the sky's end. Fair is the white star of twilight and the moon Sky's end. But 
There we go. Not quite an unplugged version, but certainly without all of the studio trappings. We've taken the strings out, taken the reverb out. It's still absolutely lovely. So, everyone, that is our song for today. Remember, there is a score available, but only to those who are subscribers to the newsletter, as we don't have permission to share the score publicly. So it's only available via the choir drop box to subscribers to the newsletter. So if you want to score, remember you can record at any time over the next three weeks. Subscribe to the newsletter, go into the drop box, and you will find the Shoshone Love Song in there. But for now, everyone, quite excited now, because I'm going to ask you to get ready to record. Remember what we're going to do in a moment. We're going to press start on the recording devices. We're then going to sing the soprano part three times. We're going to have the alto part three times and then the bass part. Do you know what? Three times. Now, in terms of what you do, it's entirely up to you whether you want to do a mixture, whether you want to just sing soprano a a along with everything and do nine takes. Um, it's entirely down to you. There's always the option as well of just singing the unison line. So if you're a tenor, bass or alto, you want to sing the soprano line, but down an octave, that's an option as well. It's entirely down to you how you want to record this. But if I can ask you to make sure you've got your recording devices ready to go, if you're recording along with this, headphones on to listen to me. And so everyone, very exciting to say, please press record now. Fabulous. Okay. Put that recording device down. Obviously, make sure it's not too far away from you and that uh, you'll be singing towards it, of course. And so I think we should get started. Remember, this is supposed to be a fun process, so enjoy your singing. Remember, any slips, any mistakes are completely inconsequential. Sing from the heart. I think it's quite easy to sing from the heart with a piece as beautiful as this one. Now, as promised, we are going to begin with the soprano part. This is the melody. And if you're a tenor bass or an alto and you want to sing this uh, an octave lower, you absolutely can. And just sing along. But we're going to have this a total of three times. So everyone, this is our first take of the soprano part of the Shoshone Love Song. Here we go, from the top. deep breath. Fair is the white star of twilight and the sky clear at day's end. is the white star of twilight and the sky Deep breath. She's fair, 
done, everyone. Thank you very much. That is the first playthrough of the Soprano line. Have a quick sip of drink to stay nice and relaxed. Don't forget to smile as well as you're singing this piece. The words are so, so beautiful. The music is so, so heartfelt. Remember to warm the sound with a smile. Let's have that again, shall we? So this is the soprano part for the second time. And uh, let's take it again from the top. Here we go. Take a nice deep breath. One, two, three. First the white star of twilight and the sky. Take a deep breath. Fabulous. Okay, and so we have time for just one more sing-through of the soprano part. And then we'll move on and have a look at the alto part. People talking about whether to do a synchronising clap, don't need to. Absolutely fine. It's all very clear where you start singing. Our engineers are brilliant, so they'll, they'll just sort that out. So shall we uh, have that just one more time, Sops, and then we'll move on to the alto part. So from the beginning, one last time, this is the Shoshone love song, and this is the melody. Here we go. Deep breath. One, two, three. Fair is the white star of twilight and the sky. Skies 
everyone thank you very much remember don't press stop on your recording devices unless you're not intending to sing anything else this afternoon if you are a soprano and you want to sing it again bearing in mind that next we'll have the alto part you're very welcome to sing soprano against it you're very welcome to move and now sing alto it's up to you if you've sung all you're going to sing then by all means stop your recording and uh, I'll tell you what to do with it at the end of the broadcast. If you're watching later on, it'll be in the description beneath this. But otherwise, keep that recording going. Because we're now moving on to sing the alto part. And uh, everyone's very welcome to sing along with this one as well. You're welcome to sing the alto part. You're welcome to, as I say, sing the tune again along with it. It's up to you. But this is now the alto sing-through. And we're going to have it three times as we did before. So here we go, altos from the top. This is your first sing through of the Shoshone love song. Here we go. Take a deep breath. One, two, three. Fears the white star of twilight and the sky There we are. Thank you very much indeed, Altos. Well done. Such a nice line, isn't it? Really, that's very simple. Very, very beautiful. Quick bit of hydration. And we will have that again. This is the alto part for the second time. Again, if you just want to leave your device rolling along, turns the basses, you're welcome to sing your part against this. You're welcome to sing the melody, whatever you want to do. Um, but keep that device rolling. So here we go, everyone. This is the alto part for the second time time. Here we go, from the top. Take a nice deep breath. One, two, three. Fair is the white star of twilight and the 
That was the second of three sing-throughs for the altos. And so that just leaves us one more sing and then we'll have a look at the tenor and bass lines. So altos, just make sure you're staying nice and relaxed. Roll those shoulders round. Remember the smile. I know this is take six of nine. Remember the smile. It warms the sound. It's part of the performance. Here we go, everyone. This is the third playthrough for the altos from the top. Here we go. Take a nice deep breath. And one, two, three. Fair is the white star of twilight And the sky clear at day's end Fair is the white star sky clearer at day's end but she through. 
we go. Thank you very much indeed, Altos. So that is the last of three sing-throughs for the alto line. We're now going to go back and we're going to sing the tenor and bass part. Remember, that is unified and you're very welcome if you're altos to sing along, likewise sopranos, whichever part you like. Now, if you're not going to sing anything more in this recording session, if you're just waiting to find out uh, what to do with the recordings, well, by all means, stop your devices, but only if you're not going to sing anything else. If you've recorded all you want to record, you're welcome to press stop and then wait for further instructions. Tenors and basses, thank you for your patience. It is time to sing your line. So let me just check that the levels are where they need to be. Looks good from here. So this is the tenor and bass sing through. This is the first of three. And let's take it from the top. Here we go. Nice deep breath. One. Two, three. Fair is the white star of twilight, and the sky clearer at day's end. Fair is the white star of twilight, and the sky clearer. But she is fairer, she is dearer, she my heart's friend. Nice deep breath. One, two, three. Fair is the white star of twilight and the moon robing to skies and fair is the white star of twilight and the moon roaming to skies and but she is fairer more worth loving she very much indeed everybody so that is the first of three sing throughs of the tenor and bass line quick bit of hydration make sure you're looking after your voices if you've finished singing you're waiting to find out what to do with your files do make sure you have a really good drink of water to rehydrate but we're going to carry on we're going to have that again for the tenors and basses and so this is the second of three playthroughs here we go from the top breath here we go and fair is the white star of twilight and the sky clearer at day's end fair is the white star of twilight and the sky clear at day's end But she is fairer She is dearer She my heart's friend Fair is the white 
star of twilight and the moon robing to skies and fair is the white star of twilight and the moon roaming to skies and but she is fairer more worth loving she my heart's friend she Thank you very much indeed, everybody. And so we have one more sing-through before I'm going to ask everyone to stop recording. And so this is the last tenor and bass playthrough. Exactly the same as you've just done. Just if you're singing along, why not make this one extra special? Really, really sing from the heart on this last one. Here we go, everyone. It's your love song, tenor and bass, for the final time. From the top. Fair is the white star of twilight And the sky clearer at day's end Fair is the white star of twilight And the sky clearer at day's end but she is fairer, she is dearer, she my heart's friend. skies and fair is the white star of twilight and the moon roaming to skies and but she is fairer more worth loving she everyone fantastic so if you've been singing along and recording with this session can i ask you to press stop on your devices now thank you very much remember don't listen back to it don't edit it don't add anything or take anything away just send us that recording now what do you do with it well what you will find is in the description of this video is a link through to the sing and send page on the Home Choir website. And if you scroll down there, you'll see at the bottom of the Sing and Send page all the information you need, all the links for the drop boxes. There are four. And all the information, what to do if you've, uh, if you've sung different parts within one recording, all the information is there 
on the Home Choir website, homechoir.org slash sing and send. Go along and have a look at that page, follow the instructions and get us those files if you'd be so kind by the 8th of May 2024. Give it to the end of the 8th of May. So that's three weeks today as we stream this session. Huge thanks to all of you. Remember, do tell your friends about this. There's plenty of time. Three weeks is a good long time to record this fabulous little song. And it's completely free. We just want as many people as possible to take part. I'm really looking forward to hearing the end result of this one. This is a song I've known for eight years or so. And I'm I'm so excited to hear you all sing it. Now, Sing and Send will return, a bit like James Bond, uh, on May the 8th. That's the closing date of this project. We will do the recording session for Peace I Leave With You by Amy Beach. So that gives you plenty of time to revise that. Remember, we did a revision session last Wednesday where we went through all the parts. There's also the original teaching video. And if I'm honest, I'm going to be nagging you about it between now and then. Plenty of reminders coming your way. So that is our next project, but that gives you three weeks to record this one. And it's going to be a fabulous result. So thank you to everyone for being here. It's so great to have Sing and Send up and running again. We do have uh, three more coming your way. You know about Peace I Leave With You and Leave Her Johnny. There will also be a fabulous version of Fly Me To The Moon coming your way in the summer. And then, well, who knows what will come later this year, though. There's definitely been rumblings of people wanting to sponsor Sing and Sends. So there will almost certainly be more later in the year. So at the end of 2024, we're looking at having a fabulous collection of professionally mixed recordings, all sung by you. Now, join me tomorrow afternoon at two o'clock for a very different kind of session. It's going to be I share my desktop here. I'm going to show you how this AI software works. And we're going to compare and contrast which of the two current claimers, claimants to the crown of AI music making is truly the best. Is it Suno? Is it Udio? Which can produce to our ears the best choral sound and once we've chosen the piece I'm going to be taking what AI makes and I'm going to be putting it into my software here and turning it into something that we can use on Fun Friday. So come along tomorrow not just with an open mind but also with a creative sense as well because I'm going to be calling on those of you that are here live to give me suggestions, prompts for the uh, artificial intelligence. We could use a bit of chat GPT to maybe help us with lyrics it's going to be a really creative session and I'm really excited to see what these artificial intelligence tools can do to help us create new music because, well, it's there, we should use it. In the meantime, everyone, enjoy the rest of your day. If you've been singing along with this session, do rest your voice. If you're in Choir of the Earth, I may see you later on, but otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. All the best. <laughs>